uh, place, uh, the fourth place. Yeah. <laughs> close. Yeah, it's close, but it's still nothing. Close doesn't count. But just being here does. So congratulations yeah, okay. to the team from France as well as the ladies from Venezuela. And you hear the roar of the crowd going up here in Medellin, Colombia. The stands are packed, and this is why the team from Colombia, Sara Lopez, Maya Marcen, and Alejandro Usquiano, they have captured the imagination of the sports fans here in this nation. Yeah, correct. They did really, really well in Australia already with, uh, with Sara, of course, uh, winning it and uh, with a team medal that they uh, brought home and now here again in their own home country being uh, shooting for the gold as well. And taking on a very strong team from the United States. There's Erica Jones on your left, Brittany Laurenti in the middle, and on the right is Carly Cochran, one of the really strong up-and-comers for the United States. The USA scoring a six-point decision over India earlier this week in the quarterfinals, then picking up a three-point victory over France in the semifinals. But they'll have their hands full today, taking on Sara Lopez, Maya Marcen, and Alejandra Usquiano. Colombia with an eight-point win in the quarters over Puerto Rico and winning a semifinal shootoff against Venezuela. So we just saw how strong the Venezuela team is. You can understand how they were able to take Colombia to a shootoff. Yeah, correct. So the fans are fired up here in the plaza on Edifacio and Talajante. Yeah, this should really be an interesting match. Great to see the support. And these young ladies looking forward to coming home and shooting in front of the hometown fans. Here's a hometown girl, Maya Marcen, who moved from Slovenia to Medellin, trains here, lives here, has a dental practice here, and she starts off drilling a nine. That's a good start. Good look at Sarah Lopez who won not one, but two gold medals at stage two in Antalya last month. She starts off strong with another nine. Yeah, you can feel the wind drifting along again. Good look at Alejandra Usquiano, who captured her first World Cup medal in Turkey. She shoots a nine. That's a good start. Home break. Strong up front, strong so up front. that'll get the nerves out of the way for the women from Colombia, if they were nervous at all. Brittany Lorente starts off strong for the United States with a 10. Brittany, 26 years old. Now Carly Cochran, 20 years old, and making her debut on the World Cup stage this summer, and that shot is off target just a little bit right, low right, right there, about a seven. So Erica Jones, the veteran on this crew, trying to pick her up, and she does with a nine. So back now to the Colombian women. This is, of course, the rematch from stage two in Antalya. Colombia beating the United States on Conialti Beach. And Maya Marcen continues the strong shooting. And here is Sara Lopez, who will face Ana Mendoza later in the women's bronze medal match this afternoon. So she's got a chance again at two medals today, Peter. Again, again, maybe two medals, yeah. Well, she, has, she will have two medals, but... And this young lady, Alejandra Usquiano, will have a chance at a gold medal. There's a nine. <laughs> So an excellent start for the team from Colombia, the host nation, and now Brittany Lorente in the nine ring herself. This is the first World Cup event that Brittany has competed in in almost three years, but you saw yeah. her several years ago. Correct. You know how good she is. Yeah, she's a good shot as well. And um, uh, she, uh, a couple of years ago, we were in El Salvador, and she maintained on the World Cup a uh, gold medal. So she's a strong yeah. shot. And yeah. also in America, she, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's on there. 
Carly Cochran with the first 10 of the match. Got time, got time, good call, good call. And Erica Jones with 20 seconds on the clock. There you go. Didn't have things just to her liking, so took her time, lines it up, and drills a much better shot. Ten yeah. seconds yeah. left. And as the result of that, the United States takes a one-point lead, 54 Good. to 53. Very nice, Carly. Awesome. Nice work. Okay. I think you have that one. So Team USA trying to get a little bit of payback against the Colombians here on their home turf in Medellin, Colombia. Where the wind whipping now. Yeah, you can you can see the wind is is drifting really, really strong in the venue right now. Boy, that's close. Ooh, that's close. Your other arrow's in the way, I can't see it. So lots of conversation going on, lots of strategy being discussed right now. The one thing that the ladies from Colombia talked about after Antalya was they weren't accustomed to shooting under those conditions with that kind of wind on the beach. They said here in Colombia, we don't have much wind. No, correct. But all of a sudden today, they the winds have, have kicked yeah. up. Yeah, but the, the whole week on the on the tournament field where we qualified and had a, uh, the, 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 ranking, uh, the ranking round, there wasn't that much wind at all. So we had some, yeah, uh, some drifts in, 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 in a couple of moments, but not that much. And, you can see here on the on the, the final field, it's it's drifting really really strong. You can also see the fan support for Sarah Lopez <laughs> here in the grandstands <laughs> on the Plaza of Edifacio Inteligente. Great support here in this wonderful city, which sits at 5,000 feet above sea level. First two stages. We're at sea level in We're Shanghai. Level. Yeah. We're at sea level, obviously, on the beach in uh, <laughs> in uh, Antalya. Now we've gone up into the mountains of the Andes, and we're at 5,000 feet. Does that make any difference? Well, it, oh an, on, as an archer, it, it doesn't really do do a lot. Uh, you can you can feel the humanity. That's that's really something different. But the the, the heights, it's uh, you just don't notice it it a lot. So the thin air doesn't affect the flight of the arrow. No. no. Good look at Maya Marcen, ranked 32nd in the world, 31 years old. We asked Maya this morning why she moved from Slovenia to uh, Colombia, and she quickly answered, love. love. <laughs> and she's still in love. Met her husband. They have a wonderful two-year-old son, Lucien Mibarrios Marcen. And he is here watching mom, as well as Sarah Lopez. Maya with a nine, and Sarah with a nine as well. Good shot. She took her moment. She has become an overnight sensation here in Colombia. And Usquiano might as well as she comes up with a bullseye. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Rick, nine, strong, nine, strong. and ten. Remember Great that. start here Great in the start. second end for Colombia. Correct. Strong, 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 strong. Nice. On That's the line. A good shot. Yeah. Ben, nice you could right see her line. Yeah, you could see the bow was drifting a long, long way. Nice shot, Brittany. Good strong front. So that was Carly good. Cochran. Good strong shot. Carly, the winner of a team silver medal at stage two with Erica and Jamie Van Atta. Eight, it's six. Her shot a little bit low in the eight ring. So it's now up to <laughs> Erica Jones, who took home an individual and team silver medal at stage one in Shanghai and a mixed team gold medal. Ten. Picked nice up shot. a team silver in Antalya, trying to win gold here today. Nice shot, Erica. So Erica Jones forte atrás, forte. with a 10 herself. Forte continue, vamos. So 28 points apiece forte, for each forte, of these forte. teams after the first three, three shots three. of the second three. end and another nine for Maya Marcen. Maya, Maya. Sarah Lopez. Who lives in a smaller community about three hours from Medellin. That time with an uncharacteristic eight. 
segura, segura. Vamos a entrar con más, más seguridad, más seguridad. Tenemos que aprovechar. Bien, 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 Ale. And Usquiano with an eight. So the door has been open just a little bit. Strong front, Britt, strong front, good finish. That's an eight as well. So right now, the archers from both of these teams searching a little bit, trying to find the right formula. Dial it in. Nine, good shot, good shot. Nine and That's nine a good and shot eight. as nine well. And eight. So Carly Cochran. Yeah, you can you can really see that the teams are wrestling with the wind on this moment. Erica had a bullseye on her last shot. Taking her time, four seconds to go, releases it and comes up with another 10. That's a good shot. Cool, calm, collected. Strong shooting by Erica Jones. We'll be shooting for an individual medal this afternoon as you get a good look at Edifacio and Telehante and the plaza where we have our field of play right now. And after 12 arrows, there you see 106 points for Colombia, they picked up only 53 in the second end. A couple of eights on those final shots, costing them a bit. And Team USA with a three-point lead as they posted 55 points here in the second end. And Erica Jones leading the way with two bullseyes. That's it. All right. Once again, we are in Medellin, Colombia. And those are the Andes Mountains in the background. It is a mountainous, but also a tropical climate. Interesting combination, marvelous weather. Yeah, the weather is really good. We had a talk with, uh, with Maya this, uh, this morning, and uh, she told us uh, that yesterday was, one, uh, was 20 degrees and still was uh, one of the bad, yeah, <laughs> the, the most bad day of, of the year. They couldn't remember uh, 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 some, uh, some weather that was more bad than that. Back home in the Netherlands, that would be uh, yeah, still springtime, good. wouldn't yeah, it? Yes. Yeah, it would be still good. Yes. Yeah. You'd take that, wouldn't you? Yeah, 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 for sure. All year. <laughs> of course, the Netherlands, beautiful in its own right. Yeah, correct. Maya Marsen starting with an eight. Colombia struggling just a little bit on these last few shots. A lot of pressure on these young ladies. It's tough. It's, it's great to have your hometown fans here, but it also means added pressure. Pressure, yeah. You want to produce, you want to come through. You want to give the fans what they came to see, and Sarah Lopez holding it for quite a while that time, and she's also low in the eight ring. So it's up to Usquiano, and you could see the tree behind her in that shot before. Bien, 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 bien. The breeze really, really kicking up here on the plaza. That's a nine, bien, 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 bien. which will help. But an eight, eight, and a nine. And the wind is up to six meters right now. Nine, nice shot. Nine, nine for Brittany Lorente who was ninth in the world in 2010. Carly Cochran, making a name for herself as well. She made it to the bronze medal individual match in Shanghai at stage one, where she fell to Albina Laganova. No shame in that. No shame in that. Nine, nice shot, nine to four. Nice Albina shot, is, is, win. is so much on this stage. Excellent she shot. won so many medals. Albina. Eliminated yeah. earlier this week, but she'll stay in Colombia for the World yeah. University yeah. Games in Cali, which are coming up in the next week. Yeah, the World Games. Yeah. World Games, yes, yeah. excuse yeah. me. Yeah. So the United States gets an eight from Erica Jones. 
The lead, though, at four now, 135-131. Four-point advantage for the U.S. Now, this could be costly. This is taking time. And it's also frustrating for Maya Marcin. She releases the shot and then gets out of there as quickly as she can. With an eight. Rimo, Rimo, Sara. Now, how have they scored that? They scored it an eight. Yeah. Sarah Lopez has to shoot quickly. She does. She does well with a nine. So there's 15 seconds left for Usquiano. That should be enough. She draws it back, lines up the shot, under 10 seconds on the clock, lets it fly, and it's a nine. So despite the problems that Marcin was encountering, they had enough time to get off two they pretty good shots. It. Yeah, you can you can see it's a, front, it's a good team. They're working with, a, with each other, and Wind you down. can even see when Maya was on the nice. on the line, the, the teammates did very well. Nice. Yeah. Not on the line that time for Brittany. Brittany with a bullseye. And the United States trying to pull away and trying to win the gold medal and return the favor after settling for silver in Antalya. Carly Cochran, Come on, girl. You got it. looking very calm. Seven, seven. So the score is a seven on that shot for Carly. But the U.S. has a little bit of a cushion to work with right now. Ten. Yes. And more of a cushion after that shot from Erica Jones. So strong shooting by the United States. So after 18 arrows, there's 157 points for Team Colombia. These ladies electrified the world of archery with their performance in Antalya. Winning the gold medal, upsetting the United States on Coney Alti Beach in Antalya. But today in the United States with the advantage after the first three ends, the first 18 arrows, and going into the fourth end, the final six shots, a uh, five-point lead, pretty strong. Pretty strong. And on, on these conditions, on the, on the moment, that's a, that's a good lead. By the way, good look at Albina, Albina yeah. Laganova. <laughs> Not the guy with the uh, two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> So the crowd been taken out of this just a little bit right now as their team's behind by five and Greg Easton from Easton and Hoyt on hand here in Columbia watching the action. Medellin, Colombia. Hopefully this will be just the first of many stages that this wonderful city will host for many years to come. Maya Marcen. Fuerte, 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 segura, fuerte, segura. Vamos, sigue, sigue. Getting a lot of advice from her coach and not pleased with that shot. It's been a struggle in the wind here, no question about it. Sarah Lopez. That's on the line. It's a nine. Now Alejandra Usquiano. She won her first World Cup medal in Turkey. Good shot by Usquiano. And this is good experience for both Usquiano and Lopez because it'll set them up for this afternoon's individual matches. Yeah, they can really yeah, see how the, how the venue is on this moment. Brittany Laurenti, who has been very strong for the U.S. here in this match. Good. And remains strong. Good, good, solid shooting. Good shot, good shot. Barring a major breakdown, the U.S. with a chance to win its first gold medal this year on the World Cup Archery Tour in this event. Eight, eight and seven, eight and seven. Just outside that nine ring for Carly Cochran. Back to Erica. 
who finished fifth this week in the mixed team competition here nine in Medellin. Three, nine to three. So nine, eight, nine, and the lead is now at six, 188 to 182. The U.S. picking up a point as Maya Marcens' final shot will end up in the end ring, eight ring, excuse me. Wind dies down just a little bit for Sarah Lopez, but she's way to the left on that shot. And Usquiano will finish things off for Colombia with a nine. They'll say it's close to the line. Close to the line, yeah. So Colombia will have a total of either 206 or 207, depending upon how they score that final shot by Usquiano. But Brittany Lorente. Eight and four, eight and four. Looks like an eight, close to the line. Come on, Carly. But again, the USA with a cushion to play with right here. Not that they want to take anything for granted. Nice shot. Nice shot. And they don't. It's the girl. Brilliant shot by Carly Cochran, the 20-year-old, who won silver with her team in Antalya last month and is about to win a gold medal here in Medellin. It is over, and the United States has done it. Erica Jones finishes it off, and the USA, with strong shooting from start to finish, took the lead by one after the first end, bumped that lead up to three after the first 12 arrows. After three ends, the lead stood at five, and Team USA cruises to the victory here in Colombia, taking a little bit of the steam out of the crowd, took the crowd out of it, really. Yeah, yeah, correct. And so it's silver for the ladies for Colombia. And yet they're still becoming very much of a factor here in World Cup competition correct yeah yeah they're they're doing great on the on the last two world cups and getting individual medals and uh, and having team medals so they're they're going on a, on a good strike here